Good day, students of Android Online Academy. Our topic for today is displaying text to the user using a text view. So, what is a text view? A non-editable user interface element that displays text to the user. So, that's the definition of a text view. And the text inside the text view can be hard-coded into its XML or coming from another source. When we say another source, it could be coming from a strings resource inside Android Studio itself or coming from a text file which was included in, the, in Android Studio, usually in its assets folder. And it could be an online database like a PHP, MySQL database or Google's Firebase. So there are two ways of creating a text view. And number one is dragging a text view widget from the palette into your design view of your layout. And number two, coding, typing into the text editor. So this image shows number one way of creating a text view. You drag a text view widget from the palette into your uh, design of your screen or layout. And then the next is to go directly to the text editor and type the open and close text view tag. So this is the open tag here. You have the less than sign and then you type text view. So it's camel case. The capital is the letter T and another capital is the V for the view. So this is camel case uh, way of typing uh, characters into the screen. And all uh, widgets when you code them is in camel case as in the case here of text view and you have the closing tag slash oh this is not slash this is backslash and then you have the greater than sign and two of the mandatory attributes of a text view is layout width and layout height and for number uh, for number one Okay, this is this is really not number one of the previous slide, but this is uh, when we say text can be hard coded into the XML of a text view. So here it is, text view hard coded into XML, or this should be read as characters inside the text view hard coded into its XML. So you have here your android colon text equal open and double quotes you have here hello world with the exclamation point you are not referring into a string resource here you just type the text that you want to be displayed by your text view okay and you have here the mandatory layout width and layout height parameters so we'll not be discussing this anymore and we shall be focusing on the text here being shown by text view so this is a hard-coded one so when you go to design editor you will find the, the text hello world so if we proceed to the last slide just to show it the hard-coded the hard-coded hello world would look like this when you go to your design view okay so let's go back okay we're done with this the hard-coded part and we go to text view with text coming from strings resource or strings.xml inside your rest folder which means resources folder okay so this is it the only difference is that you have here android colon text and in, instead of typing hello world directly, you have at string slash hello. Okay, so this at string here says that you refer to this strings.xml on the string name hello. So what is this referring to? This is referring to your resources open and close tags inside your strings.xml and we shall be seeing that in action inside Android Studio, Android Story, sorry, inside Android Studio when we do the demo. Okay? So we have here 
the first string here which is string with the name app underscore name and in between this uh, closing tag and actually this is the closing tag for string and you mean uh, between this greater than and less than uh, sign before the closing tag you have here the text that is being displayed if you call or that would be displayed if you call this string with the name app underscore name and we have here we're creating another string here and it says name is required okay so we now put a name to the string and we name it hello so that we can call it here we, we are calling the hello string here okay and if we pass a value instead uh, into that string with the name hello we pass it in between these tags so we pass hello space world with the exclamation point and then if we call that inside your text view so we say app string instead of app underscore name we call app string hello referring to the hello string then we have so this is it we're calling the hello string and this is the output so the output is the same when we hard coded this instead of uh, creating a string we hard coded to xml here we instead of this we just type hello world here and it would be the same output so maybe someone of you there are saying why the need to create a string with the name hello inside strings.xml and then call that in your text view okay so the answer to that is what if you are gonna reuse that string in another uh, in another layout so just suppose that you have two activities or five activities and you all want to call this want to put this hello world str uh, string here and by creating a string here this one we have created it once and we can call it over and over again and if we need to update what if you need to update instead of hello world you just say hello and if you have if you have hard coded it then you you would have to update that in all of your in all of the widgets that you have created that the uh, where you have hard coded this hello world uh, as against when you create a string here you only have to update it once inside this resources <coughs> folder so you only update it here and it updates on all your layout so that's the difference there however if for example you you have an application that uh, utilizes many of the string like this hello world but there are in instances that you only want to update a certain layout then uh, I suggest that you use the hard coded method instead of this creating a string okay so that's the end of our slide and thank you for watching this video I hope you have understand the concept of strings inside a text view so uh, on the next topic we shall be dealing with uh, doing all of this inside Android Studio itself and after that we shall be showing you uh, the slide on how to obtain characters or text inside a text file and displaying it inside a text view and we shall be doing that with a slide presentation and also with an actual demo inside Android Studio so thank you guys and see you on the next video